Welcome. Let's go ahead and install the software that we would need for this particular course. So go to Google on your browser and type ZAMP download X A M P P download. If you are on Windows, now download ZAMP. If you are on Linux or Mac, type LAMP L A M P. So just type ZAMP download. And you will get the link of Apache friends click on that and then you can go ahead and download the latest version of this software once you have downloaded it just follow the normal installation process by clicking next next finish make sure that your port 8080 is free because by default it uses port 8080 so after installation we are going to look at how the page looks like but for now just download and install the software by following the normal process next software that we will need is visual studio code so just click write on google visual studio code download and go to the first link and based on your operating system download the installer so if you are windows 64 bit download this if you belong to linux or mac download this so the first software zamp is going to help us with development of php because it provides an apache server x stands for operating system here in windows it's x if it was linux or uh, then it will be l and a stands for the apache server m stands for mysql database p a, p stands for php parser so this xamp software is a combination of four softwares server database php parser and of course the operating system supported library so we can consider three softwares are coming here one is server one is database server is apache database is mysql and then php parser itself so if we go ahead and install them individually like apache server mysql and php then it will be a lot of hassle hence we download these bundles like xamp or lamp based on operating system and install them and it makes life much more easier next is visual studio code it's nothing but just an editor code editor so you can use any editor you want but I will go with this and here also you have to follow the normal process after downloading the installer just click next next finish and you will have your software installed so thank you I will see you in the next video welcome again the next thing that we have to download is the WordPress itself so WordPress is a content management system and we can download it as a zip file and then we can start it running on our computer with the help of the XAMPP that we have downloaded so first thing that we'll do now is to go to this link or before that you just type WordPress download make sure to go to this link wordpress.org click on that link and then you can go ahead and download the zip so click here it will download the zip for you so in the next video we will continue further with the installation thank you